Tennessee at Iowa, or not at Iowa, Tennessee and Iowa. Um, Nico or Joe, Nico or Joe, Joe or Nico, Joe or Nico, Nico or Joe, Joe or Nico. What are you going to do? Joe Milton, Nico, Nico. I'm a lever. Is it I'm I am a lever. I am a lever. That's what it is. I think I I am a, I am a lever. I am a lever at that. Uh, I think I made that joke twice now. That's why I think that's it. Nico or Joe in this football game. If I were Joe Milton's agent, Agent Brooks hat. If I were Joe Milton's agent, there is no way in Sam hell he would be playing in this football game. I would be brutally honest. I would come up to him and I would say, Joe. Joe, we are six weeks from you owning ESPN. We are six weeks from you owning the NFL Network. We are six weeks, Joe, from somebody mocking you in the first round because you went to the Underwear Olympics. You threw it 90 yards, okay? You ran a 4.75. You measured in at 6.4 and 225 pounds. And you got a beautiful smile and you interview really, really well. Okay, we are six weeks from that right there, from you being the talk of this quarterback class from a physical standpoint. But if we go out against Iowa and confirm what everybody thinks, which is you can't read defenses, all right, you have a problem processing. If that is indeed true and confirmed via a four interception against that zone defense from Iowa game, boy, you're cooked. You are absolutely cooked, Joe. So if I'm Joe's agent, there is no way in Sam Hell you're playing against Iowa. Now on the other end, I, I couldn't. There, there. I mean, maybe Georgia, maybe Georgia, may, maybe Alabama, but that's it. I, I would argue sometimes those teams would be an easier first career start than this one. Iowa is the worst first career start of any freshman quarterback that they will have all year this year, and here's why: it's not about how good they are. It's not about how big, physical, fast. The, the, the speed of play is not going to be anything that's crazy. He's been through SEC practices. He's, he's seen some game footage. He's seen some film. He's been on the football field in the SEC. The speed's not going to be the problem. It's going to be the fact that they disguise zone coverage as better than any group of white boys that ever played it. Watch a great ISO player. Watch a great ISO hooper. Watch a great high school point guard. Throw him against a 3-2 zone. Watch him just – watch his freaking head explode. Okay? That's what's going to happen. You cannot trot a freshman out in this football game and expect great results unless that football player is just cut different. If that football player tells you, Coach, I don't care, I want to take my licks, I'm good with it. But that's not how this works, and that's not how that fan base works. If there is, for some reason, a Tennessee fan listening to this today, you will agree with me. If Nico Amaliva goes out there, if Nico goes out there and throws three picks, looks absolutely gun-shy, you're going to be terrified that you wasted $8 million. Tell me I'm wrong right now. Tell me I'm wrong, chat. If Nico goes out and looks like hot-ass garbage for four quarters against Iowa, that whole fan base will cook his ass. That's the way this works. That's the way all this works. Georgia fans would be the same. George, just like if Brock Vandergriff goes to Kentucky, in the moment he has a 300-yard game with 60 yards rushing, you're going to shit a freaking brick on social media. You're going to absolutely lose your ever-loving mind the moment it happens. Just like Tennessee fans are going to flip their shit if Nico goes out there and looks like trash against Iowa, which I'm telling you right now, if he goes out there and looks of anything other than trash, we're going to come on this network and talk about how he might be the next dude if Nico goes out in that football game as a first-time starter against Iowa and looks good, yeah, all right, it's going to be that. So there you go. I, I wouldn't want to do it, but if he's cut that way, if he's mentally prepared to go out there and do that, throw him out there. Let him, let him swim amongst the Sharks.